What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, we will be drawing the rapper by the name of the baby. You know what I'm saying? Full cartoon tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump right to the video. Okay, first thing we're gonna do. Let's drag and drop our picture we using. Hold shift and grab the edge so we can bring it down, size down some, and we're going to fit it. We're going to leave the size like pretty big so we can um get a lot of detail. All right. After I drag and drop my picture, what I do is I drop the opacity down on it. Just good enough where I can see it and my line work can stand out. Then you want to lock that layer, create you a new layer right above it. Come over here to your pressure, set your pen. This if you're using the digital tablet. If you're not using the digital art tablet, you ain't going to get the pressure option. So, but if you you is using a digital art tablet, you want to come right here, go to new brush, hit OK, go to pressure, change this number to three, change that number to three, and voila. After you do that, you will automatically have the same brush that you see me use in every video. All you gotta do is set your pressure to get that brush, what we just did. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop the size of my brush. We're gonna zoom in as close as we can. Now this is the most important part of doing cartoon heads is your line work. So you gotta make sure your line work is nice and tight. Make sure everything on point. Anytime you mess up, just hit Control and Z.
Now what we finna do Let's go over here to our pencil tool our Right click in our brush Select your pencil tool Make sure your settings look like this Inside your pencil tool Hit OK Move this color black to the top Make sure the bottom one is locked and we finna use the pencil tool as a fill in tool. So, see this eye right here? I'm gonna just draw the area I want the pencil tool to fill in. I'm gonna fill it in for us. So let's go on this side and do the same exact thing. Let's draw the areas we want it to fill in. go in and do all the areas I like to kind of draw out the eyebrows like a texture but then I leave the front part I leave that open so I can go back with my brush and add the finer details speaking of let's go ahead and yeah, this in. We just gonna trace the top part. We're gonna come back and add a little hair texture. Let's bring it up here. You see the areas I left open? That's what I'm gonna go back and add the details with the brush. So, just finish everything we can with the pencil tool.
what I'm doing right here. I'm making a copy of some of my hairs that I just created by selecting it, holding Alt. And when you get the two arrows, that's when you can drag it and it'll make a copy of your hair. So let's make this, turn it this way. And this will buy you some time. manually just draw it in and finish filling this area make it look like it's fading Okay, I'm gonna go back to my pencil tool. Make sure my color is at the top and the bottom when it's locked. We're gonna do the background of the drip. And we also about to add the details on the tattoos that's on his neck. All we gotta do is just make a design. I'm not sure what this tattoo is, but all this gonna be shadows anyway, so.
Okay, now that we finish the line work, what we gonna do? We gonna highlight everything. Go to object, expand appearance. Then you wanna go to your pathfinder and click merge. So all your lines can become one. Now while we still got to select it, you wanna hold shift and bring the size down some. I'm gonna tilt his head a little bit as well. Okay, cool, put it in the center. Now, let's make a copy of our line work by dragging it to this white sheet of paper. Lock the top copy. Just create us a base tone to start out with for the skin tone. Let's see. Find us a nice little base tone. Might gotta adjust it later. Let's start. Go to your rectangle tool and you want to drag that color over the entire picture. Then you want to right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. You'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your color on your layer and you'll see your line work sitting at the top. Now you want to highlight everything. Then you want to click merge on your pathfinder. Right click your color, go to isolate, select group, and hit delete so we can delete that outer color. Let's highlight everything. And let's go to edit, edit color, adjust color balance. Let's go to preview. And let's get these tones looking a little better. do right there that's pretty good now we're gonna hit right, let me see. Can I... okay that's good hit okay now change this teeth color hold shift to select more than one area at a time i'm gonna change this to silver drop down menu on the color layer we're gonna stroll down till we see the last black line and we're gonna lock all our black lines and leave the color lines open I gotta find the last black line it's right here okay we're gonna lock all these black lines by holding in the 
clicker on your mouse and scrolling up, leave these top two unlocked, you close it. Make a copy of your color layer. Lock the bottom copy and turn the eye off so we can focus on that middle color layer. Now we're going to click on to the color, right click it, go to isolate, select group, and we're going to delete the skin tone out of that layer. So let's delete only the skin tone out of that layer. Zoom in, make sure we ain't leaving. This is why we lock the uh, black lines so we can work around it without deleting it. So I'm just deleting all the colors out of this mustache. Okay, cool. Now while we on that layer, while we on this layer still, let's go ahead and sample that top lip color. And we gonna make a bottom lip tone a little brighter than the top. Select it, go to our pencil tool. And let's draw in this bottom lip color. And the reason I gotta draw it in, cause you see I left this open. So you can't do the coloring method if you leave small gaps open. So that's why we had to color this one in manually. Go ahead and fill this lip in. Follow this line. So, there we go. Everything looking nice. Now, what we're gonna do, we can lock that layer and we can turn the eye back on on our bottom color layer. So now we got all the base tones laid out. Let's create us a new layer and put it right in between the color layer and this little layer where I told you to delete the skin tones. So the reason we did that, so when it's time to do our shadows, I'm gonna give you an example. It'll fall right behind everything we needed to fall behind. So we don't have to work around these eyes we can just draw right through it and it'll place the shadow right where it need to be. So, let's go ahead and find us a nice shadow tone. Sample the skin tone. Let's come over here to our chart and let's try to find us a nice color. That go into the next color. Okay, I think that'll do fine right now. Now, when you're doing your shadows, what you do is you just focus on your subject. Just focus on the picture you're looking at. So I'm looking, looking at all the shadows inside the original picture. And whatever I see, that's where I place my shadows. I just follow along and copy the picture exactly how I see it. You got a shadow right here. Let's bring this up.
And we're just going to slowly, you slowly build. So this is just one shadow tone we working on. And then once we complete this full tone, we're going to create us a new tone and keep building. Now that we finish them tones on that layer, let's create us a new layer and put it underneath that shadow layer we just made. Now we're gonna find us a, a tone that's lighter than this dark shadow. So let's sample the skin tone again. Let's come right here. Okay, I think that'll do it okay. Go back to our pencil tool. Now we're going to add all the tones in right here. And you just slowly build. You still look at your picture. Look at the original picture. And wherever you see the shadows, that's where you draw them. You just copy exactly what you see. Don't try to do nothing different. Just draw with your eyes, see, and just try to duplicate it. And notice how once I finish all my tones with that one color, I go to the, I leave uh, a lot of shading areas open for the next tone. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just trying to shade this entire picture with this one color, I know the tones change in his face. So I just did all the tones I seen with that color before I went to a lighter color. Now I'm gonna go and focus on these next tones. You know what I'm saying? It's just like building, building a puzzle. Let me see. Focus on your picture and draw what you see. Just practice on drawing exactly what you see. Let's create us a, another tone that's going to be a little lighter. 
But before we bring a new tone in, let's highlight all the shadows we just made. Go to edit color, adjust color balance. And we're gonna make that just a little darker. Okay, cool. Just had to make it a tad bit darker. So once we bring this lighter tone in, it'll stand out a little more. So let me sample the skin tone again. Let's create a... Okay, that's cool right there. Let our pencil tool. And let's add all our lighter tones. See what the shadows do, it shapes the face. And I notice by putting that first tone down, that's a little too red for me. So let's select it, go to edit, adjust color balance. Okay, I think that's perfect. I'm gonna bring it down to four. Hit OK. Yeah, I just made it too orange. Let me go back to it. Put a little more red back in there. about to do let's create us another layer for the highlights sample your skin tone and instead of going down we're gonna go up with the brightness on this color Place all the highlights where we see them on the original picture. Edit this color a little bit. Adjust color preview. and all the highlights exactly where I see them if you just 
follow that method throughout the entire picture the cartoon heads look so dope just place shadows and your color tones exactly where you see them on the original photo don't try to do anything different from what you see and slowly build your picture and at the end it'll come together
there you have it you guys how to make a cartoon head in adobe illustrator man go ahead hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you stay tuned more he coming soon and i'm out deep